Now, I hate to tell you, but there is no magic bullet to, to overcoming burnout. So if you came here looking for a magic bullet, there's not one. It's just a change in your, your lifestyle and the way that you use your mindset. You, one thing that we gotta do is we gotta minimize multitasking because burnout comes in a lot of times when the brain is out of energy. Did you notice how hard your brain was working to try to just shift from letters to numbers? Now imagine task switching on big projects throughout the course of the day, how tired your brain is going to be. So hopefully what you take away from this is that Again, I don't think you can completely eliminate task switching, but you do your best to minimize it and stay focused on one activity at a time. All right, everybody turn to your neighbor, give them a high five and say, one thing at a time, baby. Like a lot of research shows that at worst cases in burnout, some people get suicidal, some people get really depressed, but the belief that drives that level of burnout is that either my life doesn't have any meaning or I'm in a dead end job. There's some major limiting conclusion or belief that gets stuck in there that gets practiced creating and fueling the burnout. So think about it this way, our results in our life and burnout is a, a result, right, of things that have happened over the course of time. Mainly our consistent actions produce our consistent results, but we can't behave or act without emotional patterns behind it, right? And a burnout we experience emotionally, but behind those feelings of burnout are thought patterns that we're mostly unaware of and underneath all of that is the belief system. So we wanna become aware of when you get really burned out, capture that feeling and ask yourself this question, what would I have to believe in order to feel this way? What belief is driving this feeling? And then after his keynote, people were blown away. They were excited, they were motivated, they were energetic.